never change up Let's get that understood I'm in that 70805, ain't no so love in my hood I ain't never change up Let's get that understood I'm in that 70805, ain't no so love in my hood YouTube, what it do, man? Y'all already know who I am Man Man Grind Hard checking in again with another video And today, I want to talk to y'all about NBA 2K19 Now, a lot of news regarding NBA 2K19 been surfacing Mike Wayne, you know, Mike Wayne that got Twitter fingers a little bit. He been tweeting a lot regarding the game. And a lot of articles been dropping. Operation Sports released one article as well as a Game Informer. Now, the Game Informer article and the Operation article, they was pretty much the same. But it was a few things that I seen in Operation Sports article that, that really changed my perspective on NBA 2K19. Now, the reason why I say that is I've been watching a lot of YouTubers gameplay regarding the, the actual game. And pretty much all the feedback from the game has been it's been positive up until I read the Operation Sports article right now this video ain't to bash NBA 2K19 or make you not want to get NBA 2K19 but I'm the type of person I want to know the pros and the cons of the game right and if you haven't Chris Moo really pretty much got the best video regarding NBA 2K19 about the pros and the cons in the game some of the things he talked about in the game he talked about rebounding how it's still the same like guards can run in out of nowhere and grab rebounds when you got the player boxed out like they pretty much warp out of nowhere another thing he talked about is the shot meter and the shot feedback now listen me personally i always turn shot feedback off because it's frustrating because it, it's never really worked and chris smooth pretty much said the same thing again it it doesn't work he said it was one play during the game where he took a shot and the defender was standing out of bounds nowhere near him and he jumped and it gave him a heavily contested shot he also said it was the time that he was playing the game where he took a wide open shot and he gave him some weird fadeaway animation as if the shot was contested now those are some of the things that's been in the nba 2k for years and it looks like they'll be returning again in nba 2k 19 but he said he did point out the things to mike wayne and he pretty much took notes of why they was happening he said mike wayne said he pretty much had a fix for it he knew why the things were happening in the game uh, again, remember the version that everybody was playing was a quick Mac version of the game. It's pretty much a beta version of the game It wasn't the finished product. So of course the game still needs some testing Another thing that I haven't heard anybody talking about but I read in the article and this is for y'all dribble guys This year and Mike Wayne tweeted something yesterday regarding uh, dribbling on NBA 2k This year NBA 2k incorporated a stop meter in the game, right? So pretty much if you're doing any dribble move if you want to come out of that dribble move If you type L1 on the PlayStation, I think it's like LB on the Xbox It'll give you a hesitation and it'll stop your dribble move now, me and Jay Easy was talking about this. I don't know exactly what it is or how it looks in the game, but just imagine this year they had a lot of animation that you would get forced into, and you pretty much had to kind of hop step out of the animation to get your player to cancel his dribble move. Well, this year, all you got to do is press L1, and your player stops his dribble move. He'll hesitate, and he'll stop his dribble move. Now, just imagine if you're going against a dribble guy, and they hitting you with all type of bullshit, and then they just automatically stop hit you with a hesitation and just stop the move. Because in previous years, you know, once you started animation, you could pretty much anticipate what was going to happen next because everybody used the dribble move. So the animation had to play out. The only way you could come out of animation, really to be honest, is to hop step or either shoot. But most people don't hop step besides if it's like a dribble guy or a dribble head. They don't let the animations play out. This year, there's actually a trigger to stop your dribble move. So you won't have to hop step out of dribble moves and you won't have to just pull a random jump shot out of a dribble move because like I said, if you've been playing the game a lot and somebody drop a video on an extra OP size up and you know what that animation look like, you know when it start, you know how it's going to end, well this year you can steal the ball a lot easier than what you could last year, especially if a player over dribbles. Just imagine this year, you never know when the person going to stop that animation. Me personally, I like the fact that you can come out in a dribble move, but I don't know how it's going to actually play out. You know, maybe the way that I envision it isn't how it is, but the way that I'm envisioning it based on the article, it's pretty much saying that you can hesitate out of any uh, dribble move and they'll just stop on a dime and then you can chain together other dribble moves. That's something that'll be real beneficial for your dribble heads, you know what I'm saying? Now, another thing I want to talk to y'all about. Now, this, this is totally random, but... 2K is now over NBA Playgrounds, right? NBA Playgrounds was pretty much an arcade version of basketball, like a street ball game. And me personally, I, I kind of liked the game. You know what I'm saying? It was fun to play here and there, but, but for the most part, it wasn't a game that I would play all the time. Well, now NBA 2K is over NBA Playgrounds, and they will be dropping NBA 2K Playgrounds this year. 
What does that mean for NBA 2K? I have no idea. I don't know why NBA 2K will take over NBA Playground. I don't know what none of that shit about. Maybe y'all can let me know in the comment section. Another thing that I want to talk to y'all about was Mike Wayne tweet. All right, and he tweeted this out today. Uh, random 2K19 info. If you have a trailing defender, hold an LT or L2 will trigger a hold off, which is a Chris Paul like crab dribble that will allow you to sit a defender behind you for a bit. Great for cutting defenders off and opening up a drive lane to the rim. Enjoy. The only build that I've been comfortable with driving to the basket is something that has slashing in it. For the simple fact that layups were so broke, like you could get right back past your defender, but once the person behind you jump, it's over with. You know what I'm saying? But the fact that you can now steal the defender off that's behind you once you get past him, that's gonna be OP. And me personally, because I will be making the same deal this year, as long as they don't break it, slash and shot creator, shot creating first, slash and second. If I can get to the rack like I got to the rack last year without having to cheese or do all the bunch of dribble moves, none of that shit, and I can actually start sealing people off, it's gonna really make me that much harder to guard on the game. You know what I'm saying? And it's the same for his playmaking sharp. So imagine if a playmaking sharp could seal some of the people out because they already got the dribble mode. The thing is, once they get to the rack, they either get blocked or you just straight up miss. Well, now you can seal the defender off as well as having a meter to time your layup. I like it. I like that. I like that. Now, will it actually work? I don't know. But for the most part, we're going to say it's going to work. And I like it. You feel me? So look. In the comment section, let me know about the new crab dribble as well as the stop dribble animation. From the things that I'm hearing, there's a lot of pros, but there are some cons in the game, and I'm just here to just give y'all my opinion on the things that I heard, you feel me? Look, that's pretty much all I got for y'all. Let me know about it in the comment section. My man Grind Hard checking up out of here. Watch your mouth, no dissing me. You know we all saw it. You say I'm fake, that's your opinion, that's just y'all's story. Just face the fact I was y'all blessed, but y'all ignored it. Your quest for fame had you distorted, not accepting.